How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Today, I'm gonna do a little bit of commercial deep dropping, something I haven't done in quite some time. Um, got about a, well, it's supposed to be about 15 out of the north. It's closer to 18 to 20. It doesn't seem like it because I'm behind the island, but north wind is um, coming from the Gulf side, blowing towards the Atlantic. So when you're on the south side, it seems a little more quiet, but. Um, it's gonna be a little bumpy out there, but I've been wanting to do some commercial deep drop and it's been quite some time I don't do these a ton um, If you're wondering what commercial deep dropping is I'm gonna use electric reels and go try and target um, Tile fish maybe some snowy groupers yellow edge groupers. We'll see um, What comes up probably start with tiles and go from there um, If you haven't seen the commercial side of this essentially what I'm doing is I'm gonna go harvest fish hopefully enough fish to sell to the market and make some money for the day. Commercial fishing is a way of life down here. A lot of people do it full time. I am fortunate enough that I can just do it here and there part time. Um, but yeah, that's the name of the game. I've got electric reels. I've got a bunch of big heavy leads so you can get down to the bottom. Got some squid thawing out over there. And I've also got, just in case I run into something else, I've got a Wahoo lure uh, and a Mahi lure there. But um, that's the name of the game. Enough talking, let's head out. I've got a little bit of a run um, we're gonna get out there and see what we can find. Wear your sunscreen. Take it from me, don't be a dummy. I am out here and getting set up. I'm gonna try and go over as much as I can on this, what reels I'm using, what I'm looking for. I'll show you what we're gonna drop on. Today I'd like to do, I'm gonna cover some spots I have, but I'd like to explore a little bit and I wanna hit some spots I haven't hit in um, quite a few years. But this is my first spot that I'm looking at. Uh, it's not much, over 500 feet. We're gonna start looking for some blue line tile fish. Just kind of, you know, it's pretty subtle. If you zoom in, whoop, zoom in on this one, you can see there's a little bit of movement there. Not a whole lot, but um, we're going to give that a try. What I am fishing is uh, Tanacom 1000s. These are on the lower end of the spectrum of deep drop reels. Um, they're cheap enough that if you get a few years out of it and it burns up, you don't, you're don't. you not going to cry about it. But um, This one has a custom rod from a friend of mine, Matt Conrad. I, he got from another friend um, I've had for quite some time. That thing will not die no matter what I do to it. And this rod is a uh, Saltiga something. There's a hundred different rods you can use. You just need a, a bent butt um, that has a little bit of backbone to it. This one's actually really soft. Um, and what, because I am starting with blue line tiles, I'm gonna go with a smaller hook. Got a nice long rig here, four hooks. Got a light up top and then down to a four pound lead and I've got some squid thawing out. And when it comes to deep dropping, as far as conditions, what do I want personally? I want there, well, I'd like it to be a little calmer than this because the wind will throw your drift off, but I want there to be a little bit of a current, but I don't want it to be smoking current. I do not want to be in the Gulf Stream. Um, personally, I like it between half a knot to a knot. That way I'm moving a little bit, just enough to cover ground, but I'm not screaming across the bottom where if I snag, I'm gonna break off. Um, there's actually a website, I'll put a link to it. I think it's like Passage Weather or something like that, that actually shows the edge of the Gulf Stream. That's our biggest body of current down here that moves. Um, so it'll show where the edge of the Gulf Stream is, and that's something I check when preparing um, to go deep dropping, or I talk to some of the other commercial captains, but um, that's actually a pretty useful resource. Um, other than that, first thing I do is uh, set up, see which way my drift is going. I'm pretty much going with the wind. I'm drifting due south right now. Um, so it tells me there's probably not a lot of current, but. Um, that's the name of the game. We're gonna hit some of that pretty subtle bottom. Throw some squid on here and uh, enough talking. Let's do some fishing. So this is actually my first time dropping on this spot. I've never fished this. I was nudging up to some new to some older spots and I ran that over. So just give it a look. That's how you find new stuff. share an opinion no one asked for um, when it comes to this deep drop and stuff fairly debated as far as recreational seasons commercial stuff everyone gets a little 
uh, upset about it, which I get. Um, I personally think it was mismanaged for a little while. I think they recently changed some of the regulations. But um, one of the issues is they'll leave one species open and then leave the rest closed. And your average person, if you want to come out here and try it, I love that. Come try something new. But your average person doesn't know where to locate a particular species. So, for example, they would leave golden tilefish open and then snowy grouper and blue line tile would be closed where you have people that come out and that don't really know where the golden tiles are and they catch a bunch of snowies and blue lines and have to float them and you can't keep them. Um, and I will say there's very specific areas to it. And it's different up in different parts of Florida, up the East Coast. But um, I mean, there's a very large portion of Key West you will never catch a golden tile. I don't care how much you deep drop, how much you do it, how long you fish, how many different styles and whatnot. There's just certain areas you will not catch a golden tile. Um, so you'd have that problem where a lot of people would come out and want to try this and they would kill a bunch of fish unnecessarily. So when I, I have a commercial permit now and the commercial regulations are different and the seasons are longer. Um, when I was recreational, I would wait till everything was open because why am I going to go look for a fish? Um, there's only one fish that's open and when you bring these fish up, they're dead. Like, dang, you can't, you're not going to be able to send them back down. end of my speech if you want to do this love it come try something new but um, I just I recommend waiting until everything is open that way you don't come out here and have to kill a bunch of fish like for example snowy grouper is one per boat so you catch one snowy grouper you're done for the day as far as snowies go and once you do it long enough you get pretty good um, you can kind of pinpoint the areas that certain fish are gonna be different species Like I said, I think they recently changed the regulations. I have to look at it, I didn't read the whole thing. I think they changed the regulations for the recreational season. So I'm on the bottom. Um, again, I didn't fish this, I've never fished this spot before. Just kinda giving it a tester. Essentially what I wanna do, I wanna let it sit on the bottom. Some people like to bounce it. You just have to be careful laying it on the bottom because there's a lot of rocks and stuff down there. You can snag and break everything off and you really don't want to do that. The, these leads alone, those four pound leads I think are 18 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. I haven't bought any in a while, but. So there is absolutely no current. If I'm backing into the wind, I'm sitting still. I'm just drifting with the wind, so I'm gonna drag it for just a sec. Some of you may be wondering why I wasn't up at 5.30 running out here. Personally, um, I feel like I don't do well super early or super late. It normally seems like once the sun's up a little, maybe 9.30, 9, 9 to 10 sometime is when I feel like the bites start to pick up. Right at sunrise, right at sunset, I never do well with the deep dropping. I don't know if the fish go into their holes or whatever it is, but I typically don't start super duper early doing this. Four spots there, four or five. Um, little bites, not what I'm looking for. A couple baits got picked and just didn't pull anything up. So I'm gonna take a hint and uh, move down about 10 miles. I haven't fished, like I said, I haven't fished those spots in quite some time, but maybe they're just, maybe they're outfished or they need some more time or it's just not a good day, I don't know. But anyways, not catching fish here. I'm gonna run down about 10 miles and we'll try a new area. All right, we are heading down to the bottom. New area, about the same depth and same style bottom, just real small, subtle ledges. Got to get a fish in the boat as of right now. I'm just on a boat ride. I'm on the bottom. Shut this off and hopefully we'll get a bite soon. It's not looking good. I don't know how I didn't realize that. I got picked. The only bait they didn't get completely was the top bait. We're going to try that one again. This is the one. I can feel it. Oh, 
on the bottom. I'm gonna stay a little tighter on this one. I got picked last time, three bottom baits. I saw little nibbles, but I didn't see anything big. Maybe I just missed it. I wish I could see down there, like what's going on. Really would love to have a submarine. stays on there that one almost looked more like a grouper bite how it was like jingling a tile fish is a big thump, like one big thump the groupers will grab it and kind of shake it it's not very big whatever it was yeah it seems like it's going to be a small grouper unfortunately the tile fish will fight the entire way up oh it's a little yellow edge my tile spot that is a little yellow edge grouper obviously not what I'm after unfortunately sometimes it happens it's the nature of the beast they're beautiful little fish gonna brain them when they come up from that depth there's no sending them back down but he will get eaten nonetheless the market will take it as much as I hate bringing up that small yellow edge, it's uh, the reality of it sometimes. Out here in the deep dropping thing, you can't really control what you hook as far as size. I try to use a little bit bigger hooks to avoid that, but sometimes it's inevitable. bite and of course it's a tile fish what I've been looking for all day it is 12 23 in the afternoon those circle hooks because they set so well in there. So this is what I've been after. This is kind of a smaller to average small uh, blue line tile. They get a lot bigger. I've get, I think my biggest is up to 13 pounds. You can see they got that blue line on the face. Um, but that's what I've been targeting. They've just given, been giving me a run for my money, but I think they're just giving me one just to keep me here. So I'm going to call call this endeavor and try something else. We're gonna re-rig these up, put some bigger hooks on, and we're gonna go try and find some snowy groupers because like I said, it's already 12.30 at this pace. I'm not gonna make any money either way, so I might as well put the time in and try and find some new spots and then maybe potentially hook a bigger bigger grouper or something that'll be worth more money. So um, that is our one lone tile fish. Um, we're gonna keep trying something else. Not gonna give up. Same thing, light, similar rig, just bigger hooks. We're gonna go out a little deeper. Let's see if we can locate something bigger. <clears throat> Exploring for new spots is extremely uh, boring, tedious, uneventful, all the above. So I make a deal if I find, or when and if and when I hook something, I'll turn the camera back on and I'll show you what I caught it on, but there's a lot of not catching that goes on with this, but normally if you put the time in, you can find a good spot or two, so when I hook something, I'll turn the camera back on and show you what's going on. So this is interesting and I thought, I haven't caught anything yet, just to be clear. Um, I thought you might find this interesting. I found what appears on just a little ledge, not much there, but that is a mark of fish. 
in my experience, that far off the bottom, that's probably gonna be barrel fish. I don't know if that's a species I've shown you guys, but for the life of me, I cannot get whatever it is to eat. So maybe it's not, but um, just pretty neat to see out in the middle of nowhere. And I've ran over them three times. They're sitting in the same spot. Fish out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm trying. Those, uh, those actually pull a good price at the market. So it'd be cool if I could get into them, but again, I cannot get them to eat or just can't get the bait where they are in the column. It can be tricky. I'm trying though. It's just all bad news today. <clears throat> Whatever that ball of life was, I got it two more times. I just couldn't, by the time I'd get the bait down, that'd be off the mark. They were moving really fast, whatever it was. May not have been barrel fish, I don't know. But I couldn't hook it, that's for sure. So I'm gonna keep moving along. Exploring did not work. I didn't catch a single fish out there either. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just that bad or something in the universe is preventing the fish from eating I don't know you can make a million excuses the fact of the matter is I ain't catching much um, so I headed back in I'm putting the uh, I put the small hook smaller hooks back on for the tiles Let's see if we can catch a couple I don't know I'd at least give you guys something to look at But I haven't given up. It's a beautiful day. Life could be worse. Sunny, light breeze, 72. I'm on a boat. What more could you ask for? It's a fish. No way. Holy mackerel, it's a tile fish. Oh, perfect. Come off in the boat. I know it's not pretty, but when they come up that fast, the gases expand. That's why the eyes will bulge like that. You can see the stomach is coming out of the mouth. It's just part of it. So that is a tile fish. Don't call it a comeback. Let's see if we can catch a few more of these to get to the market at least. At least get you guys an episode. I'm fortunate enough that even if I don't catch enough fish to sell, well, enough to make profit selling, the YouTube videos can pay for gas and expenses and then some, so. Not, not all commercial fishermen have that luxury, but that's our blue line. We're going to get a bait back down. Didn't even have the camera on right when it hit the bottom. Wham! Oh! Oh, he's still there. I don't know. Afternoon bite. This is what drives fishermen crazy right here. Barely anything all day and I've got two in a row. blue line on the face they're beautiful little fish man they are tasty I don't know if something turned on something changed but I'm gonna try and keep dropping them down see if we can at least catch a few I don't 
looks like a decent tile. I think he came off because that fish looks big at the beginning. Dang it. Yeah, he came off. I should have known. I should have dropped it right back down. That was my mistake. I'm just working little drop offs. Uh, it's got some fuzz on the bottom there. That's all I'm doing. I don't got much longer, maybe 15 more minutes or so. Got a little bit of a run, and like I said, it only slows way down as the sun is close to the horizon. But we'll see. If I'm still getting bites, I'll hang. Not acting like a tile. Or maybe it's just a grouper. That's a little grouper. A little snowy. Not what I was expecting on this spot. That is a little snowy grouper. Not the size that I want, but you can see the little white dots. That's why they call them snowies, little snowflakes. Normally don't get snowies in here on these uh, shallower tile spots, but sometimes the small ones do make it in here, unfortunately. But you can look at it either way. If you kill the big one, you killed the breeder. If you killed the small one, you killed the baby, but. Depends how you look at it, I guess. like a decent bite. There's a fish on there and I can't get this to turn on. Cool. It's real, maybe, on its last leg. I don't know what the heck that was. Gotta be a tile, it's still fighting me. Tile fish. Okay, okay. Better late than never, I suppose. blue all right this is the last drop of the day no matter what happens of the day. Down she goes. Probably should have just ended on the last one and ended on a positive. Just wanted to try one more. Womp, womp, womp. I can say confidently that is probably, no, not probably, definitely my worst day commercial deep dropping. Um, if you want to see some good deep dropping episodes, go back and 
um, my channel's history. We used to do pretty well. Just maybe a slow day, maybe the deep dropping's getting worse, I don't know. I don't do it nearly as much, so I don't stay on top of it. I know st plenty of people still make a living doing it, but um, normally I do a commercial breakdown. I go to the market, weigh these. Um, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm very clearly in the red. Uh, just on the commercial side of things, I'm probably, I don't know, 200 bucks in the red. Fortunately, I make YouTube videos. Not every commercial fisherman has this luxury. I make YouTube videos that bring in some money. So uh, for the day, you know, as long as I post the video and it, it performs what it would normally would on average, um, I'll be in the green for the day and I will actually make some money. So, um, oh, one other thing I wanted to share. I had a comment on a, a recent commercial episode where we broke even, like just covered expenses. And someone was like, I can't believe you wasted all that fish just to cover gas. And in my head, like kind of early on, I was like, man, that is a bummer. I can't believe we wasted all that fish. And then I came to my senses and I was like, we didn't waste the fish. Whether or not the fisherman makes money doesn't determine if the fish is wasted. The fish still goes to the market, still gets consumed by the consumer, gets sold, divvied up into restaurants. Um, the only thing that is wasted technically is the fisherman's time and money. The fish didn't die in vain. The fish still goes to the market and gets eaten. Um, so I know you're looking at this, you're like, well, you wasted that fish. I'm not wasting it. I just uh, didn't make as much money as I would have hoped to on it. But um, anyways, that's the end of my speech. I'm done rambling. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, more importantly, hopefully you learned something. Um, one of the reasons I don't do these very often, the deep drops, it's just it gets slower and slower each year. Um, but what can you do? Maybe I just stink at it. I know a lot of people still make a living doing it, like I said, but um, I'm still talking. I'll see you guys on the next one. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get to them. Other than that, I'm going to keep making videos. I will see you later. We go.